As with any industry in the entire world, guys, everything is typically full of BS. The self-improvement industry is no different. You see it all over YouTube, all over social media. There's so much fake stuff going around, fake news. So in today's video, guys, I have seven myths in the self-improvement industry that really will not impact how you actually accomplish your goals and level up your life. So without further ado, guys, let's get on with the video. What's up, guys? My name is Austin Wayne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, guys, if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you really smash that subscribe button. I'm building an awesome community on this channel. Also, guys, be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Austin Wayne Official. I post some really sick content on that platform as well. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's kick this video off with a bang. Up number one is going to be the 5 a.m. club. So obviously, guys, on every single self-improvement page, self-improvement YouTubers, they're all like, I wake up at 4 a.m. I wake up at 5 a.m. I do so much stuff in the day. When in reality, guys, this is bullshit. You do not need to wake up early to actually have a productive day and improve your life. Now guys, there's actually going to be two types of humans. So there's going to be people who are naturally nocturnal and then people who are typically just very productive during the day. Now me, myself, I am going to be nocturnal. So this means that once the sun goes down, I actually get a huge burst of energy and I feel a lot more productive and creative in the evenings and late into the night. Now guys, if you wanna just say I'm too soft, anything like this, I've actually had years to where I would work 60 hour work weeks, waking up at 4 a.m. every single day. And guys, it did not affect my productivity. If anything, it actually slowed me down. Ever since I actually created a life of freedom to where I'm able to actually make my own hours and I can stay up until 3 a.m. grinding if I want to, that is what matters, man. At the end of the day, what matters when it comes to sleep and whenever you actually wake up is one, how much sleep are you getting? You need enough sleep, seven to nine hours. And two, how productive are you actually being with your waking hours? Are you wasting time? Are you scrolling through social media? What are you actually getting done with the day? Are you completely choking out the life of each and every day? Are you getting everything that you can? That's what matters, man. It doesn't matter what time you wake up. What matters is how productive you are. So find the best ways to become the most productive version of yourself. Don't overthink it, guys. Okay, guys, number two, we'll be going off stupid diets. So all over the pretty much industry, there's going to be, I would say the stupidest diets are whenever you completely cut out a macronutrient. So for example, keto. Keto is one of the most stupid diets you could possibly do for your health and your productivity. So cutting out carbs, guys, carbs regulate your energy levels. Guys, you need carbohydrates for pretty much anything. It'll help regulate your hormones a little bit. It's going to regulate the thyroid as long as you're taking healthy carbohydrates. Personally, I think fruit, fresh tropical fruit, is going to be the best carbohydrates, but do whatever you need to. I don't think a keto is a good diet. And also in addition to this, it's going to be those diets where you cut out fats. Fats, once again, regulate your hormones. It's very vital for any success, for any health whatsoever. And then last would be protein. Now there is not a diet that specifically cuts out protein other than obviously the vegan diet. Please, if you're trying to become the best version of yourself, the vegan diet is not the way to go. At least if you are a man, it's going to be very detrimental to your health and specifically your hormones, specifically from a man who is vegan for a year, an alkaline vegan to be exact. I don't think it's healthy. So myth number two, guys, is going to be very extreme, stupid diets. Okay, guys, myth number three is going to be the hustle, grind set, Sigma male mindset. Now, guys, this mindset is pretty much the what Elon Musk is putting inside your guys' heads where you have to be grinding 80-hour work weeks, like doing all this stuff. Now, I will tell you this. I think every man needs at least like a six-month, maybe a couple years period in their life to where they grind and actually stack a cushion. But then it, there's going to come a point whenever you actually need to learn how to work smarter, meaning that whenever you do work, you put a lot more energy into it and it's actually going to bring a lot more rewards for you. Now guys, above this grind set mentality is actually going to be your real health. How healthy are you during the day? Are you sleeping enough? Are you exercising every day? Are you getting outside and grounding with nature? Are you meditating? Like, how's your mental health, man? Are you visiting with friends? Like this grind set culture will tell you to neglect all these things in favor of just grinding, 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 only working, only working. I say, fuck this, man. Fuck that lifestyle. It's not healthy. You need balance. And pretty much the way I see it is you have to balance yourself. 
first. So this is the temple, man. So you need good mental health. You need good physical health. You need to go see friends, man. You need to go to the beach and get some nature. You need all of these things. And then once you kind of have your basic needs met, then from this point, that's whenever you work, that's whenever you grind. And now you have the energy to actually manifest and put this into really good things that will be working for you. This is how you make your money work for you and you actually work smarter rather than just dumber and a lot harder. So this is myth number three. Myth number four, guys, is going to be working out. Now, specifically, there's a lot of very dumb exercises. Like I could go into CrossFit, I could go into jogging, which both of which are completely stupid and pointless. But today is just going to be about working out daily. And you don't have to do it, man. So many people, once again, in self-improvement field, they're like, did you work out today? You have to work out every single day. You have to do this every single day. It's a part of your life. That's BS, guys. You don't need to, actually. Actually, if you wanted to, you could look like a Greek god. You could look like a male model by only training three times per week, man. Like, if you did full body Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you actually got stronger every single time, you're hitting PRs. You're not wasting any time in the gym. You're going in there with that intensity. That's three to, like, five hours per week, guys, of just exercising three days a week. That's enough. That's all you need. Personally, I work out six days a week. I don't even need to do that, man. I just do it because I love it. For me, it's therapy and like any buildup of bad energy like this, I go into the gym and I think about this stuff, I push it out. I personally love exercising, that's why I do it so much. But if you're not like that, man, if it's not a release for you, if you don't feel super good afterwards, you don't have to do it every day to become the best version. You can look just like a Greek god by working out three times a week and that is strictly facts. Number five, guys, this one kind of hurts my soul a little bit to put this on camera, but it's going to be no fap and semen retention. Now, like I've said, guys, I am on no fap. I've done lots of retention streaks off and on, depending on my current social life. Now, guys, this is BS. I'm going to be honest, mostly because I've met so many millionaires, so many very highly successful people, and none of them do no fap. None of them will ever say that the reason they're successful is because they did no fap. It's really not a cause of success. Now, there are lots of benefits to it, obviously. Number one is going to be your dating life is going to be much better. Uh, interpersonal relationships will be much better. Your confidence will be much more improved. But guys, it's not necessary to actually become the best version of yourself. Now, I still believe you should integrate some sort of no fat protocol, even if that is just quitting the videos, just because that's the most detrimental aspect, like I've said in the past. But you don't have to do anything too crazy, man. Like the longest I ever went, one time I went 182 days without doing my thing. You don't have to do that, man. I did it. It was really good for discipline. It's really good to really kind of sculpt yourself and kind of have those self-development stages. But I don't think it's necessary, actually. So this is going to be a myth. Okay, guys, myth number six. It's going to be the cold shower gang. Now, obviously, everywhere on the internet, social media, Everyone says it to be successful. You have to take a daily cold shower. I wake up at 4 a.m. I grind. I take my cold shower. I do a thousand push-ups. You don't need to, man. It's not necessary. In fact, we live in a modern world where we have access to hot water. Hot water is truly amazing. And you can take a hot shower. Now, guys, I'll typically actually do what is known as a James Bond shower. So I start off with hot water and hot water actually opens the pores. This is actually what cleanses you a lot more than just the cold. And then typically I will actually finish with cold water. So this kind of gives that shock to your body. It's gonna close those pores and it's going to be just a very good way to close off and then get that little burst of energy like you do from a cold shower. But once again, I don't think you're going to go out there and meet a lot of real life millionaires, not YouTube self-improvement millionaires. I'm talking about real life millionaires who say that the reason they're successful is because I took a cold shower every day. That's not it, man. You don't need to. You don't. If you like hot showers a lot, you can do it. But like I've said, some of these things, if you just do it daily, it kind of reinforces that discipline. Because a lot of this is, a lot of the success, it's really just gonna come down to discipline. Discipline is like a muscle, just like anything else. So the more you practice discipline, the easier it's going to get. Me personally, at this stage of my life, I have an insane amount of discipline, man. Like if I'm at my macros, guys, someone can be literally trying to shove cheesecake down my throat and I still will not swallow. Like I will not eat the cheesecake. So discipline is a muscle. It takes years to cultivate it, but cold showers are not necessary. And number seven is going to be never going out on the weekends. Now in this little grind set culture, they say, oh, while you're going out on the weekends, while you're drinking, while you're clubbing, I'm grinding, I'm hustling. 
And here's the deal, Leo, guys. There's a lot of hours throughout the week. And going out, if let's say you go out once a week. Let's say every Saturday for like three, four hours. That's not a lot of time throughout the week, man. If you have a couple drinks just one day per week, it's not going to kill you. I think whatever you are doing, you actually need some sort of release. Like for me, guys, sometimes I'll save some macros, maybe for some chocolate, something like this after my workout. And then it's like you hit your workout and then you have some chocolate to look forward to. You know, like, like for me, guys, I will have my refeeds every Saturday. And on these Saturdays, guys, I will have an espresso martini like you saw in my vlog if you're subscribed to my channel. And I love espresso martinis, man. I'll go out to a beach club, meet up with some girls, anything like this, man. Meet up with some friends. I think it's very healthy. In particular, it's very good for the mental health as well to be a social human. I feel like a lot of the self-development stuff, guys, is kind of making you antisocial and a little bit of a psychopath. So don't go too far down the rabbit hole to where you're completely disconnected from other humans. You need to actually learn how to associate. And most importantly, guys, you need to make sure that your temple, your body, your mental health, all of it is going to be the healthiest version. And then you can grind on top of this. So I'm kind of against the whole grind set, Sigma male mindset. I think a lot of it's pretty stupid and it's not going to be the most effective way to manifest your dream life. So guys, that is it for today's video. Now, once again, guys, if anybody watching this happens to need help with your fitness goals, I am a certified personal trainer, guys, and I have my dream physique just like this. And now, guys, I've also helped train hundreds of my personal one-on-one -on -one clients to achieve a physique just like a male model or a Greek god. So if you want to chisel the aesthetic physique just like that, hit the link in the description box, guys, for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation. Once again, guys, if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you smash that subscribe button, building an awesome freaking community on this channel. Also, guys, please like this video to push this video out into that YouTube algorithm. That's it. I'm gone. I love you guys so freaking much. Peace.